Hey everybody, it's Millie from Second Spring Soaps. We're making some more soap today. Woohoo! I'm actually making a holiday soap. I saw a chunk of oil in there. I'm making an, a holiday soap today. This one is Peppermint Mistletoe, or on their website it's called Pepperberry Mistletoe. It's from Aztec. Let's give it a whiff because it smells really, really good. It is very different. It's a very different fragrance. And I love it. I think it's fantastic. But it's totally, totally Christmas. So I've got my oils here ready to go. And then I've got my room temperature lye ready to go. And let's just jump right on in this and get started. Getting close. So I'll tell you why I am making a Christmas soap in the middle of July, because today is July the 19th. Um, I'm making a Christmas soap today because um, I'm getting ready to enter the Appalachian Fair in gray and I needed a Christmas themed something to put into the fair as an entry so I thought I'll make a cool Christmas soap. So this one will be on Etsy before the rest of my Christmas soaps are. Okay, so I think we're fairly emulsified here. What I'm going to do is I'm actually going to split this batch in half. I'm going to be doing a base color of green with some mint flakes in it. And I'm going to do a pencil line with some red clay. And then I'm going to do the top white. And then I'm going to do some mica stamping on top of these cute little birds I found. Which I'll do a separate video for that. But I'm going to split this into two. And I'm just kind of eyeballing this. I want them about even. That, that looks pretty good. That looks decent. Alright, and because I haven't used this fragrance oil before, that is going to go in last. So let me get my color. I'm using the Green Apple Lab Color from Brambleberry today, which is like electric green. It's really, hold on just a second. It's not really what I wanted to go for, but that's okay. It's a pretty color. I'm going to put in a couple of popettes to give it a base green, and then I'm hoping that the mint will really give it a nice holiday green. One more. There we go. Let's cap this and move this to the side. Give this a little stir. Ooh, electric. I love it. Fabulous. Very cool. Now I'm going to add in my mint, which I'm just going to kind of eyeball this on how much I want. Let's mix this in and see how that looks. 
Ooh, air bubbles. I like that. It's nice and speckled. And I'm going to mix this a little bit more to thicken this up to make sure that those mint flakes will stay suspended. And then we'll throw in our fragrance oil. Okay, I think we're I think we're pretty good. So let's go ahead and throw in our fragrance. I'm gonna try to describe this because it's so different. I smell bayberry in there definitely. And then there's some ivy, a little bit of peppermint. Very interesting. I'm really digging on it. It's really good. <laughs> I'm wanting to see if this is going to accelerate. So far, so good, which is excellent. Let me get my spatula. I'm all over the place today. I'm just so excited to finally get to make this. I've been thinking about this soap in particular for about two weeks now and I'm just happy to finally get to work on it. We'll put this over here and I'll clean that up in a minute. And I think we're looking pretty good. It's staying pretty suspended. Nothing's really falling to the bottom. So I'm going to go ahead and go for it. Here's our mold. I've got the sides in already. I've got the mold wrapped. And I'm going to put the um, dividers in here in a second so let's go ahead and toss this one in how pretty is that I love it all right cool just gonna give the bowl a good scrape there we go I can already smell the scent it smells great Cool, and I'm going to go ahead and stick my dividers in. I love this mold. I unmolded the uh, root beer earlier today, and it did so well in this mold. The bars were so crisp and clean. I was so excited. I'm going to go ahead and put this in. Good deal. Now the next thing that I'm wanting to do is I'm wanting to do a pencil line of the red clay. I have a little bit of red mica on me, but not enough to make a good thick line. So I thought I'd go ahead and do it with a clay instead. I really need to invest in a, a tea strainer. I've seen a lot of people on YouTube use tea strainers when making pencil lines and they look so clean and nice. I've done a pencil line before with cocoa powder, so let's see how this ends up going. So far, so good. This is just going to be kind of tedious because I have to do each one kind of individually. And then I'll have to go back over and clean them up. I, the first time I did a pencil line, I did it like this where I put the divider in and then did the pencil on. And one thing that I did notice is that the, the cocoa powder really stuck to the sides of the dividers and it kind of left like speckles on my finish bar. So, which wasn't terrible, but it wasn't really what I was going for. And so far this is looking pretty good. I need to be a little heavier handed with it. There we go. I've got this really cute, oh, that was kind of heavy. I've got this really cute little bird stamp. 
that I'm wanting to use. And I've got a little bit of green mica to stamp with, so I think it'll end up looking really festive and holiday and might even win a blue ribbon, which would be awesome. I wish I had a paintbrush or something I could like fleck this on with. I've heard if you blow on it, it'll help to really push the powder in. Uh, but yeah, so this might be some slow goings. I might pause the video and pick you guys back up in a minute just so you don't have to sit through all of this. This is going to look so cool. I'm going to have to do an unmolding video for you guys so you can see the, the finished one. Well, I am getting heavy handed on these last bars. I hope they don't separate on me. I hope these turn out looking good. They look good in my head. So it's tedious, but it's going to end up looking good. And I am going tomorrow <laughs> investing in a tea strainer because this is just crazy. This is taking so, 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 so long. Ah. Okay, well, I'm going to finish up this um, pencil line. And I'm going to clean it up really good, and then I'm going to pick you guys back up to do the top layer. So, see y'all in a minute. Okay, so I'm back. I finished up the mic, or not mica line, the clay pencil lines. And I did a little bit of cleanup with a damp cloth. So, that should have gotten everything on the dividers. If not, I can always trim and buff and do all those things to get so clean. So, I'm going to set this aside. And we're going to start on our top layer. Our top layer is here. And right now we've got nothing in there. I did do some cleanup a few minutes ago. So we've got a nice clean spatula and a nice clean stick blender. Toss that over there. And give this another little buzz. It thickened up a little bit, but that stick blender will just work it right back out. We do want it a little bit thick too, so we can kind of glob it on. And I have got some titanium dioxide here that I mixed up. I'm just going to drop this in, get that all mixed in. I think I used half of a teaspoon. That's going to be pretty. Look at that. Oh, that's really nice. That is a pretty white. I might get a little bit of discoloration from this one just because the color of the fragrance is yellow ish. But we'll see. I'm going to put in about the same, about a cap and a half into this side. That ends up being about a third, maybe a little bit over a third of the bottle. So about a little over a third of an ounce of fragrance in this batch. We've got some air in there. All right. So we're good to go. And this one, we're just going to have to lay it gently on top of the first layer and over top of the pencil line. Get all that soap out of there. All right. Sorry, I like to keep every last little drop of soap that I can. So 
So I'll do a video when I unmold this so we can see how the pencil line with the clay ended up. And then I'll do a video when I stamp it, which I'll probably stamp maybe a day or two after that. I like to stamp while it's still pretty wet so it holds the mica a little easier. So let's, let's do some housekeeping real quick. Got to get our mold back. There we go. Get our white layer over here. I'm going to kind of bring you guys in a little so you can see a little better. Sorry. Sorry for all the craziness. That's pretty good. Alright. There we go. Now we're, we're in business. Um, I'm nervous. I'm not going to lie. This makes me nervous. I think I'll use um, one of these little cups to kind of help us along. I'm going to get it as close to the line as possible without disturbing it. Thank goodness for gloves, right? I just stuck my whole thumb in there. This is going to be interesting because I don't know if the clay is going to color the layers or not. If it might bleed a little, I don't know. We're going to have to find out. Soap making is one giant experiment sometimes. But I'm really excited about this. This should be pretty good. The white and the green are going to look very pretty though. Maybe I'll get a, a ribbon. I put in a soap last year and didn't get anything in the Appalachian Fair, but I ended up getting a blue ribbon in the Greene County Fair, which is one town over. And that was, that was really, really cool. It was a big confidence booster this time last year. So basically what I'm doing is just putting enough on the soap you know on the on the pencil line just to cover it and then maybe a little bit more and that way I'll be able to top everything off with more soap after they're all covered I can tell some of them don't have as much as the others Okay, so now we get to play. Let's fill the rest of them up and try to make them even game. Only got a little bit left. Hoping I can get some in all of them. Ooh, that one's really full. Probably shouldn't have put any in that one. Okay, I'm going to scrape the bowl and get the last of it in there. This one needs some, definitely. These first three. Gosh, this smells so good. I love this scent. I'm really wanting some good flat tops so I'll have a good flat surface to stamp on. So what I'm going to do now is give it a good shake and a good pound. That's pretty good. Look at that. That's pretty even. I'm pretty happy with it. Alright, cool. Well, this is my pepper berry mistletoe soap it's got the green layer on the bottom with the mint the pencil line with red clay and then the white on top and then I'm going to do some stamping once it gets hard enough so uh thank you guys for watching I'll catch you when I unmold it see you later bye